So, good morning class. Unfortunately, I couldn't meet you today. So, let's settle for our home setting lecture. Is everyone here already? Okay, good. So, please open your camera so I can see you during the lecture. Good morning again, class. I am Miss Andrea Kate Fernandez and I am your ICT teacher. So, for today, our lesson will be the basic functions of computer. So, first, let's define what is computer. A computer is an electronic machine used for processing and storing data given by the user. As you can see in the picture class, there are four basic functions of computer. We have the input, process, storing, and output function. So first, let's talk about the input function. What is input function? Input function is a process of entering any type of data and instructions into a computer system by using the input devices such as keyboard, mouse, a scanner, microphone, etc. in order to receive user signal to the computer. So, when you type or encode in your computer, desktop, or laptops, you are using the input function of a computer. We have here an example of input devices. So we have keyboard. Keyboard is one of the most prominent input devices of a computer. The keyboard is designed to input text numbers and characters. Second one is the mouse. It is the input device of a computer also known as a pointing device. We also have the scanner, a digital input device that is used to scan hard copy images, printed text, and objects. And last, we also have the microphone. It is used to input sounds like voice recording and singing. So I'm sure that you are all familiar with the input devices I have shown you. So the second function is the processing data. The processing function is the second step that offers the process and handling of the input data instructed by the user. To process the user input, Data computer needs a central processing unit or the CPU. So what is CPU class? CPU takes the data and instruction from the input devices and performs all types of calculation based on the instructions given. So above, above is the picture of the CPU. The third function is the storing data. The computer must store the data permanently so that it is available while processing data temporarily. Basically, there are two types of storage in the CPU of the computer, the room and the RAM. So the room, which is the abbreviation for read-only memory, is a, permanent, is a permanent memory in which information is entered into it once and stored permanently. While the RAM or the random access memory is the fastest type of memory and has the ability to be read and write data but as long as there is a power supply to the device. So the difference between the room and the RAM is that the RAM needs a power supply to function. So the last function of the computer is the output function. The output functions means that results generated by a computer once the processing of CPU is completed based on the instructions given by the user. So from the word itself, output is the product. Okay, so basically, the basic function of computer is to mainly accept the data from input devices, transfer data to the RAM, memory in the CPU, and process, analyze, and store data as per instructions. So those are the four basic functions. Now let's recall the four basic functions of the computer. We have the input, process, store, and output function. Did you learn something, class? Okay, that's very nice that you learned something from me today. Since you already know the basic function, let's have a evaluation. Let's have a short quiz, a multiple item test. Uh, I will just send the test into our GCN. I'll expect it. You'll send
send your answers through personal message before the end of the day. Good day and goodbye class.